What's going on guys? It is Tuesday, May 28th. Hope everybody had a good Memorial Day, good three day weekend. If you were on call, sorry about your luck. <laughs> That's the luck of the draw. I've been there before. So um, we're headed out to a call right now. It's a radio tower. Uh, it's a barred unit that serves a radio tower shelter. And one of the units has a rub out. We don't have approval to do that today. But the other one apparently is not keeping up. And we had technicians out there in November or December and did a compressor and condenser or possibly one or the other, but I think it was both. But we had a, a, a technician doing a PM and he thought the system might have been a little low on charge, wasn't keeping up. So we're gonna go out there this morning, see what's going on. It is charged with blue on the uh, 458A or TDX20, whatever you want to call it. I've never used that stuff before, so I'm going to try to get some of it on, uh, on film, what, what it does, uh, you know, the, the pressure, stuff like that, because I've never used it before. Maybe you guys have, but uh, we're going to see how well it works and what it's doing. So let's get going. It actually just did shut off. First thing I'm noticing though, look at this. That looks like it's leaking. Just soaked it up. Certainly looked like it was leaking. I'm not sure if it really is though. All right, let's get the probe sucked up to her, see what it's doing. Alright, there she goes. We'll let her balance out. See what it does. Alright, the fan cycling switch is causing it to run a little weird. I might actually jump that out while I'm working on it. But that suction line temp is pretty high. And our suction pressure is pretty low. You can see our suck point is coming down also. I might, like I said, jump that switch out just for now, while we're working on this, just to keep it going, and see what it stabilizes. All right, I put a little bit of charge in it. <clears throat> see what happened. And my suction line temperature is coming down a little bit, and my suction pressure is still pretty low. Some cool ones in line though. I mean, it feels cool, but yeah, 69, that's not gonna cut it. Give it a little bit more. Alright, well it's certainly running better. I got a few pounds in it. Two pounds. My suction line temperature is kind of all over the place. Not sure what to think about that, but everything else is kind of in line. I just don't like how low that suction pressure is. Measure quick, it's low also. Yeah. Suction line temperature is coming back down. Like I said, it's still showing that this suction pressure is a little low, but I'm not real worried about that. 11.2 degrees is sub cooling. I think I'm going to leave it alone.
probably about as close as we're going to get it. I'm just not real familiar with this blue on stuff. So we'll watch it for a few more minutes. You guys, this is the other unit that I don't have approval to work on today. And it's leaking from right here. Look, the panel cut into it. All right, guys, we're all done with that service call there. I'll probably have to go back and maybe try to find a leak because it did take a little over two pounds, but um, the blue one works. I mean, it, it, it works good for a replacement. I mean, um, uh, it's not as good as R22. Um, it's just you get, you're get you used to working on something for years and years, and um, just the, the pressures don't look the same, the temperatures don't look the same, so, um, I'm not going to say it works better than R22, like um, some guys on the Blue On commercial claim. Um, I think it works just as well as any other replacement for R22. I, usually 422B is my go-to. Uh, I, I can't sit here and say it works any better than it. Maybe if I use it a couple more times, you know, because that's basically a barred package unit there. Uh, I can see how well it works in a, um, in a split system with a TXV. Uh, and then I can might be able to have a better opinion, but I, I just don't have the determination. I, it, it didn't blow me away. So uh, I'll use it a couple more times and, uh, and see how it does. I don't really plan on converting a whole lot of more systems to uh, a R22 replacement. I'm hoping to get that stuff out of here, but some commercial customers, we, we have to keep the R22 equipment going. So kind of is what it is, but Next up, we're going back to that beauty uh, supply store to replace that duck smoke we found last week. So, take All a look. Right, guys. Back here on this guy, got the new duck smoke. We're gonna get that replaced. Seems like it held up, it's still running. Let's see if we have any error codes, I'm curious. Like it's running with no error code so that's good i was concerned with those other ones that were popping up it was you know, something about high pressure or something like that so good we'll get see i really hope i don't have to pull this economizer off or at least the uh, this piece but i might have to this hood here to be able to get to it properly but let's see i didn't see a good way to get this thing out of there all right we're gonna make note of this wiring so we have black and blue on acc plus and acc minus and then these are our switches this is our switch here Then we have black, red, red, yellow. So we're just gonna document this so we put back everything exactly the way it is. And uh, see these wires over here go to the other sensor, which I actually did not get. We're only gonna be doing this one. So the other smoke sensor in the return is going to go here. So we will just make note of all of that. Do it with this too, so we can get a good view. All right, guys, got the old one out finally. And uh, see what they sent me with the new one. Not gonna, there's not going to be a new sampling. There will be one of these guys, so we'll use that, and then we'll clean this sampling tube up the best we can because it is full of dust. So we'll use this guy on the new one, and then clean the sampling tube up, and we'll be good. All right, finally got her mounted in place, good and sturdy-ish, <laughs> but it's in there. 
So, uh, let's wire it up. I wonder, is this just this transformer replaceable? I bet you it is. I don't know, I've never tried to just replace the transformer on one of these. But, oh well. Let's, uh, let's get our wiring poked through. And, uh, I'm gonna have to knock out one knockout there. Shit. Where the hell did that go? And uh, I have to knock this knockout out for my thermostat wire. Right, guys, we got the new one in. We got it wired correctly. Now, one thing, these these duct smokes come set up for just the single use. If you have a separate monitor, you have to flip dip switches, which are down right here. So we're gonna let me see if I can, those little dip switches down right there. We're gonna have to adjust those to our application. Let me get the directions and we'll see which ones we have to turn on. Okay, so it might even tell us right here. So, number two will be two sensors. So I think that's the only one. The middle one we'll have to set up for two sensors. Let's just take a look at the directions. Yeah, right here. So the second dip switch, two, two sensors are connected to the power board. So we need to make sure that is selected on and this other one provides a trouble condition from when sensor housing cover has been removed or has been securely and probably for seven minutes okay so i think we want to turn that one on also um just in case somebody takes the cover off and uh is messing with it that way it doesn't give a trouble code right away all right so our dip switch number two. Oh, see, uh, the last one comes pre-set up for seven minutes. So we want this one on. And that's the only one we want on. Everything else looks good. All right, so we're about to put the cover on, power this thing up, and make sure all is well. All right, got it all set up. The blower is running. These status LEDs are kind of confusing the way they label them in the instructions, but I believe we're set up properly. I put the instructions right there in case the next guy needs them. And we're about to button this thing up. All right, guys, we got that duct smoke in, and uh, that system is back running like it should. And uh, so let me know what you guys think down in the comments about the, uh, the blue one, the 458A. Like I said, I heard you know the, the commercials for it you get were raving that it's better than r22 i i just don't see that but let me know your guys opinions on it if you've used it or uh your opinions on any r22 replacements uh, i'm hoping not to use very many more r22 replacements especially with the new refrigerant coming um i, I really hope to not be doing anything with r22 here in the next couple years but you know we have we have commercial customers that we need to keep that equipment going and um, just R22 is just too expensive to use. But all right, guys, that's going to be it for this one. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I have the review coming on that PVC cutter tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. Um, and yeah, catch you guys in the next one.